Good afternoon, Grant here and I'm still on the health train. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a roasted pepper and aubergine sauce. Um, <clears throat> you can have this sauce in paleo, you can have this sauce as an alternative to ketchup or, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> the bonus with this sauce is that you know what's gone in there. There's nothing processed, nothing bad for you. It's literally just vegetables with a few seasonings in it. So all we need today is one aubergine, washed and ready to go, three peppers, one, two, three. Um, I'm going to pop a chilli in it, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, some garlic, uh, I find this necessary, it depends how much you want. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of cloves of garlic today. Um, half a lemon, which I'm going to juice. Um, we also need some olive oil. We need a couple of empty jars to store it in. It doesn't have to be empty jars, you can put it into Tupperware if you like. A blender, which I've got here. Ta da! And, apologies, and a baking tray, which I've just uh, rubbed some coconut oil in just, just to stop it sticking. So the first step is going to pop the aubergine and the peppers into the baking tray and we're going to put this into the oven preheated about 180 degrees centigrade um, <clears throat> for about 35 to 40 minutes this should soften the skins up you want to have it so they're looking a little bit blackened and crispy um, and then you'll be able to take it out so I'm just popping that in there that's already preheated uh, we're going to do it for 41, we'll do 30, 30, 37 minutes and then we'll have a check. Okay. Hello, so it's been 35 to 40 minutes. <coughs> what we've got is some blackened aubergine and peppers. The next step is to get a glass bowl, pop them all in, put them in there. Bit hot, watch out. Can have a steves. <coughs> Some tongs and spoon if you like. Okay, so pop them in the glass bowl, leave them for 10 minutes. This this process is just going to help with the the steaming, it's just gonna help taking the skin off. Okay, so that's been sitting there for 10 minutes. Next thing we do is we take out Vegetables, going to be wet, pop them on there. I cut the end off because I find it easier <coughs> to take the skins off, and the ends cut off. And then you're just going to peel, it's hot, peel all these skins off. Just like that. Okay, so that's one pepper peel. Don't worry too much about the seasoning. You can get out as many as you want, but they're going to go in a blender anyway, and they're perfectly fine. So that's one pepper there, and then you just carry on and do the rest. So I'll carry on and get back to you. Okay, so they've all been peeled. Peeled courgette. Let's pop it in to your blender. Pop in the peppers, so they're all in there nice and peeled. Then you can pop in your two bits of garlic. I've cut my pepper in half because it's quite a big one and I've got another red pepper to pop in there. Uh, chili, sorry. Um, and finally, I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of olive oil. So one of these. I know it's heart shaped, but they're my girlfriends. So quarter a cup of olive oil. And then just season a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. 
Oh, oh, sorry. And don't forget your lemon, your lemon juice. So I pour that over the top as well. I like to have a bit chunky. So there we go. I think that'll probably do. Let's have a quick check. Okay, so I blended it up. Some people like it chunky. Some people like it uh, more smooth. I've kind of got it in between. I'm scooping it into my jar now. All you got to do is wait for it to cool down. Pop it in the fridge. It will last a week, two weeks in the fridge. It's got the lemon juice in it, so that should help to preserve it. So, there you have it. Roasted pepper and aubergine sauce. All, un all unprocessed, paleo. With some chilli and garlic. You can enjoy it on its own. On a cracker, on a gluten-free bread. It depends what you want. And on a normal bread, if you like. Uh, or just an alternative to your normal ketchup or mayonnaise or anything. Okay, enjoy. Stay on the health train.